Okay, hello everyone. Hello Archipips. So, our topic for today is about photography compositions. And uh, we all know that photography is one of the most um, powerful tool for us to provide information to the viewers regarding our designs. And aside from that, um, a lot of um, work must be put into um, consideration or effort na ito on na kailangan um, bigyan ng pansin is yung uh, pag-compose natin. So, it is like um, drafting uh, plan and drawings and laying out everything and putting everything in order. However, sa photography kasi, ang ano natin, ang disadvantage or might be an, ad an advantage as well is that our environment is not always controlled. You can, you may um, put um, some stuff into positions pero some are not movable. So, take note, isa yun sa main composition, lagi nyo tignan yung frame, lagi nyo tignan yung um, picture kung may mga bagay bang nakakasagabal sa um, photo nyo kapag finish siya or always having a test shot to see kung ano yung mga pangit at maganda dun sa photo at kung ano pang pwede nyo i-add pero lagi nyo i-consider na ang dapat na tutuon is doon sa subject kung anong um, kinukuhanan nyo okay so let's proceed. So composition is an artistic form in organizing visual elements into a scene para maging pleasing siya. So arrangement siya ng mga bagay sa isang um, picture frame. And ang mga types ng composition dito ay made is um meron tayong i-discuss na 18 types. So first is um the rule of thirds eto yung rule of thumb natin sa um, photography na meron siyang or simply by um, making a grid of 3 by 3 then yung subject nyo, i-align nyo sila dun sa intersection ng bawat lines. So, this uh, points gives um, more tension and um, interest with the subject. Okay. Sample of these photos is this. So, aside from that, parang i-divide mo rin yung um, isang picture sa um, into three components. So, we have the foreground, the the main central area, and the background. However, dito sa photo na to, um, mostly kapag nasa dagat or nasa isang um, area na may mas malawak na um, brighter space or eto, sample na lang sa dagat yung two thirds is most likely um, positioned sa horizon and yung um, last or yung one third is position para dun sa mga subjects so it creates balance unlike kapag nilagay mo to sa sentro it gives an an easy uh, feeling doon sa ano doon sa picture also it gives emphasis doon sa drama ng scene doon sa dark clouds next um kapag naman meron kang mountain and parang opposite nung ano nung doon sa kanina um you can still um position it two thirds doon sa sky and the the mountain itself as the main subject then ang foreground is ang farm however dahil sa scene na to meron siyang um, reflection ng sky and the mountain from the water it gave a better impression on how you divide and compose the uh, the um, photo so meron ka ng glimpse nung sky at two thirds and yung main subject itself na yung mountain at uh, a third of um, the proportion 
So, again, hindi lang sa about sa um, hindi lang sa about sa paggamit ng mga proportions na to, but how the photo feels or how it makes you feel kapag nakikita mo tong um, whole picture composition. Next one, we have this um, boy na naka ano sa dagat nasa shore so by putting or by aligning him doon sa intersection points ng um uh, ng grid nagkaroon ng better composition also tip lang dito it's not always um pointing the subject doon sa exact location niya however doon lang sa post niya dito, mas naging better looking. Sometimes you have to position the subject um, farther, a bit farther. Basta ang ano lang nito, ang gist or ang, ang summary lang nito is by imagining a proportion or sa mga cameras nyo, sa mga camera monitors nyo, you can put a grid para dito sa, um, para mas maging madali sa inyo ang pag-compose. So, with portrait shots or with um, people as a subject, mostly ina-align siya sa eye or sa ulo. Again. And with this one. Okay take note na ang rule of thirds is one of the base um, composition and um, siya yung pwedeng i-mix mo sa kahit anong iba pang composition types so next we have is scale so uh, basically ang scale is something na nagbibigay ng um, sukat or proportion sa isang subject to maybe to people or to another subject. So for example, with this one, um nagkaroon ng emphasis dun sa size ng um ng structure versus dun sa tao. So by incorporating um environment and people, nagkakaroon ng idea yung mga tao sa scale ng paligid. Also, yun nga ang scale din ng um, structure or nung subject is must defined. Parang sinasabi sa photo na to na ito ang subject. Nagkakaroon lang ng relation dun sa tao and environment. So another is itong sa banggi, elokos. So no matter how you see the, ano, you see the whole picture, um, must nagkakaroon ng emphasis dito sa turbines and as you can see rule of thirds was still applied with this one. It's not always um, putting a third na exactong one third para dun sa foreground or um, background but having uh, it yung ma matitingnan nyo siya sa ano eh, through sa mata nyo lang mismo parang matatansyon nyo siya, magkakaroon kayo ng ibang nostalgic feeling, might be, or something na yung tinatawag na decisive time. A decisive moment. So, another is this. Kung, mati kung mapapansin nyo, kung mag-imagine kayo ng grid dyan, one-third, two-third. Unlike, um, unlike kapag sinentro mo, Although one of our next compositions to ano is uh, to discuss is balance. However, this gives more appeal. Next one is a frame within a frame. So by uh, using a certain design element, maybe a window, ito katulad nito a gallery or um a corridor. So ginamit niyang frame yung pointed arc na to in order to give emphasis sa overall structure sa na may arcade dito then we have a tower so always um ang isa sa pinakainisip natin in composing a photo is giving or directing people's attention to the subject 
So, with this, pinapakita natin yung um, structure or itong church na to or cathedral. Aside from that, yun nga, mga doorways. You may use doorways. Pwede rin yung mga ano ng balustrades, spacing through balustrades, anything. Any, any, um, anything that you, you can use para dun sa to give a different frame. And there are times na magiging negative space yung mga framing na yun. Okay. So, another is ito. It's not always a perfect frame. You can use uh, two different things na magperform into a frame. So, this is the Mount Arayat. Um, this is Sir Bud's um, shot nga pala, itong mga nakikita natin dito so ayan then another aside from um, aside from a certain a single frame to use we, you, can al you can also use a lot of uh, parts in order to fill in yung mga iba ibang frame more to fill in the whole subject. So, aside from that, magkakaroon kayo ng different perception sa photo. Perception ng mga people around um, the the corridor viewing the main structure and the structure itself. So, aside from comp ang nabibigay ng composition is story and direction. Next one, we have vertical shot. So, from this, so we have two samples. Ang difference ng vertical shot to landscape shot is, yun nga, aside from dun sa vertical orientation niya, it gives more um, attention or it gives more, um, it directs you more dun sa subjects na, ano, na included. So, from this, kung sa unang shot, nandun siya naka-landscape siya and nagkaroon ka ng overall feel sa environment. With this one, nagkaroon ka ng at mas naging attentive ka sa um, subject na itong um, yacht sa pagitan ng, or itong parang floating restaurant sa pagitan ng city and ng pier. Next one is um, pertaining to this minaret. So, kung titignan nyo yung naging feel ng photo, or naging feel ng composition. With this, um, nagkaroon ka ng overall ano, sa structure, um, attention sa structure, but with this one, mas nagkaroon ka ng attention dun sa mga towers. So, aside from this one, as you can see, meron siyang um, frame within a frame part, but also some rule of thirds but then yun nga, ang attention mo is dito sa structure na to it led you to this structure related to the overall um, structures within the city then next you can also incorporate vertical shots with reflection so by the use of um, oops sorry by the use of water uh, you will have um, a different composition katulad nung kanina sa rule of thirds na may uh, mountain then may reflection from the farm so you can apply the rule of thirds rule of thirds through this one so one two three then vertical shot then the reflection itself so from the window from any water or any reflective um, elements so yeah this one next one we have a shadow play so yung shadows can give you a frame or can give you um, a different kind of composition or attention or artistic side dung dun sa paggamit ng light. 
may give you direction, leading lines, and interesting composition. So, here, ang always i-consider nyo lang na hindi dapat against the light ang shots nyo. Laging meron pa rin different, uh, may, may tamang tama ng light dun sa subject which gives a different um, shadow or pagtama ng shadow sa surface. So, this one. This. So, as you can see, yung focus mo na sa eye ng bata. However, nagkaroon ng additional um, interesting design or additional reflect up shadows from um, the window or kung ano mang material ang ginamit dito. Then next is filling in the frame or filling the frame. So para tong scale. However, kahit na may maliit kayong subject, if you want to give attention to the subject itself, you must um, have around 80 to 90 percent of the subject in the frame. However, syempre, nagkakaroon to ng ibang approach kasi minsan ang subject natin is at a different shape. So, you have to make sure na magkakaroon ng um, attention doon sa subject na yun. So, for example, with this, with this approach, magkakaroon ka ng idea regarding sa parang fan-like um, feathers ng flamingo. But with this one, mas nagkaroon ka ng mas nagkaroon ng emphasis sa ulo niya. Then next is focus or attention to details. Um, tinatawag din natin tong um, depth of field. Okay. So depth of field meaning um, nagkakaroon ng ng difference between uh, foreground subject or yung nasa harap na subject to the background. So, most of the time, means um, nagkakaroon ng blurriness or we can also use the term aperture kasi may dalawang parts to eh. Depth of field at shallow um, shallow depth of field and may isa pa. I will reconsider. I I will um rediscuss that sooner. So, isa doon is blurriness ng background from the foreground or for the from the subject and isa naman is the sharpness of overall from front frontal sub or from main subject na nasa foreground up to the background. But with this one, um mas gumagamit tayo ng or with our samples with this, gumagamit tayo ng shallow depth of field na tinatawag, which are, which will be discussed in the um, aperture triangle. I will have a, a different video for that. So, ito. So, kung may kita nyo, may sharpness doon sa subject itself, but then may blurriness sa background. So, with this, it's either you zoom in sa, sa subject or lalapit ka kapag fix ang focal length mo. Then, ito. Basically, you just have to emphasize a certain um, design element like filling it in with, with the whole frame considering the light, considering its proportion and scale with the whole subject. So, as you can see, applicable pa rin lahat ng ibang diniscuss natin. Next are signs. So, by basically using those signage in order to compose a certain photo. So, um, it, with this one, nagiging comical ang isang shot. Or nagiging siyang um nagkakaroon siya ng statement. So, yun nga, ang na-mention dito is it gives drama or humor or adds drama or humor sa mismong um, story ng 
isang photo, however, it will still depend sa composition. Maybe may awkward poses ng mga tao sa paligid, maybe may juxtapose or nagjuxtapose yung nung subject doon sa nakalagay na um nakalagay na subject or nakalagay na sign to the subject. Example of this um sabing keep off the grass, however, may mga batang naglalaro doon sa isang garden or sa may place na may grass like that. Okay. So this And another one is this is kind of um ano eh ito masyado sung tong subjective but also it's a type of way na ano na pagcapture um this is um the decisive moment na tinatawag or waiting for that exact moment for example may hinihintay kang droplet of water from from a certain leaf or gusto mong pumatak siya dun sa body of water as for this example so you must have an intuition with the environment kung ano yung nasa nakikita mo sa paligid mo overall for example may hinihintay kang tumawid may hinihintay kang tumaan na um na tao dun sa isang spot may nintay kang cast ng shadow or light from a certain place. May nintay kang animals na dumaan. Yan, for example, this jump shot. Also, it doesn't mean na may nintay kang moment na yun is yun na. All photographers tend to um, or most of photographers takes up to 50 shots but yung 50 sh- sa out of all 50 shots na makukuha niya sa lahat ng pinuntahan niya you will only be satisfied with one so um wag kayo ma-frustrate from shooting a lot of photos then hindi kayo masyadong satisfied sa iba as long as may makuha kayong ganitong type of shot na tinatawag siyang money shot or uh, photo of the day na lahat nung ano nyo, kumbaga, yun yung pagkakompera nyo ng lahat ng shots. And, wag kayo mag-delete agad out of screen, out of your device. Always have it viewed sa computer kasi may kita nyo yung tunay na um, quality ng shot pag na-transfer nyo siya. Unlike kapag katake nyo ng shot, titignan nyo sa monitor, then hindi nyo nagustuhan, delete. Um, na- nandun kayo sa, ano, sa state of mind na parang ay hindi pala okay or parang hindi okay lahat ng mga shots na makikita nyo. Okay? So, the decisive moment. Note that with this one, on decisive moment, we usually raise our shutter speed. Yung shutter speed na yun is parang considered siya yung pag-corrupt nyo. Um, kapag mas mabilis yung pag korap ng or pag blink ng ay ng camera or yung speed na yon na receive ng camera mas nasa stop na yung moment but yun, most of the time kapag meron kayong motion na hinihintay however, may instance na gusto nyong blurred ang tao but then may gusto may gusto kayong sharp sharpened na background or anything na nasa environment. So, with I will discuss that sa um sa exposure triangle natin. Then with this one, hinintay niya yung um pag-move nitong bangka. But then nagkaroon ng parang interesting waves ng water. Okay, mind you guys, um, ang architectural photo- photography is a bit different sa portrait photography or sa usual na pag-compose natin ng pictures. However, you may apply both. Okay, so it doesn't mean na uh, restricted kayo. Meron lang certain um, shots na kailangan natin consider sa architectural shots para magkaroon tayo ng feel doon sa paligid versus doon sa feel na kapag tao ang pinipicturean natin. 
So another one we have is leading lines. Basically, by using the environmental shapes na magli-lead sa isang subject. For example, eto nga, dahil crisscross and diagonal line leading to the um, kid. So, dahil mas maliit siya, nagkaroon ng magandang angulo going to the kid. So, ayan. Next one. So, diagonal line. We see that ito from this leading to that kid, uh, that kid na pababa ng hagdan. So, pwedeng pag ano, pa diagonal na pakabila, pero kukonsider nyo rin kung alin yung mas magandang composition. Okay? Then next, may, it may be uh, curves can also be considered as well to give emphasis to farther na subject. So, well as this one, so yung mga pilapil. Kahit na zigzag siya, nagkaroon ng emphasis dun sa end na yung mga farmers ang subject. Then, point of view. So, ang point of view always depends sa um, height mo ng lens or ng camera mo. So, it may be from below, looking up, or from above, looking down. So, pa diagonal man or pa vertical or ayan then next we have shapes so applied pa rin ang rule of thirds kung mapapansin nyo two thirds two thirds then textures so kung may interesting textures kayo nakikita or pattern consider nyo yung light in order to emphasize kung ano yun. Kasi ang mahalaga dito is parang magkaroon ng feeling or maintindihan ng, ng viewer yung feeling nung kinapture nyo yung texture. And then forms. So, sobrang halaga pa rin ng casting of light from this kasi mas nakaka-idea kayo sa surface nung subject. How the shadows cast sa sa isang form or sa isang um, ornament. Then, we have balance. So, tinatawag natin din natin tong symmetry. So, by um, by making sure na centered yung shot and has a symmetrical effect. Then, space. Meron tayong tinatawag na negative space or um, basically yung negative space na yun may be in full of shadows, full of light or ito parang vast sea, vast water element. So dahil walang masyadong ibang detail na nakakaabala, nag-catch ng attention itong namamangka sa, ano, sa dagat. And this one as well. So, negative space dito is yung subject mismo. However, nag-add ng... Oh, no, no, no. Um, ang subject natin is given emphasis dahil sa space or sa um, casted na shadow. And itong light na to ang nagbigay ng um, main... Um, nagbi nagbigay ng um, emphasis sa silhouette. I mean... So, both of it is also negative space. So, nag-juxtapose ang dalawang negative space with this. Then, rhythm. Basically, repetition lang ng elements or ng um, maybe architectural element, maybe a tree. Anything na magbibigay ng repetitive pattern. Then, sa colors naman. So, ang colors, it gives a different mood and emotion sa, sa, sh sa shot. And syempre, ano to, sobrang subjective din ito. Some likes the warm colors. Yung iba naman, gusto nila yung cooler colors. Yung iba naman, a uh, mix of um, complementary or um, analogous colors. 
or some are very tricky dahil sa cast ng light na nagbibigay ng iba-ibang um, colors na, for example, etong dito sa mga isda sa mga koi so medyo abs- may pagka-abstract may pagkakaibang arrangement so this is very subjective, however in any way pwede siya magbigay ng interest depending sa so way ng pag-compose nyo so this one's also like waiting for the deci- decisive moment kasi for example naghintay kayo ng subject na kasing kulay niya yung um, light sa paligid, it won't be as interesting as this one, or maybe if you put or nakasot ng yellow or orange it might be interesting as well so ayan, by associating this different colors so yan lahat ng um, mga compositions na ma-apply natin. And all of this can be um, joined into one. So, lahat sila. Lahat sila may, ano, may um, can be given emphasis, but they are all collaborated. So, that is um, our topic for today. And for our activity, I will be um, giving it from a different video. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good day.